911, what's your emergency? I think somebody broke into my house. He's in my living room. Okay, stay where you are. We're going to send someone over right now. Hang on, I'm going to investigate. You do not have to do that. <gasps> It ain't no man, it's a dog, and I hate dogs. If there's a dog, it could be rabbit. Do not approach it. I'm approaching the rabbit dog now. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all State of Emergency games for the Sony PS2. State of Emergency is an arcade game where you have to cause as much mayhem as possible. You can roam the map to get quests, and quests are very repetitive. All you are asked to do in those quests is to cause mayhem. Okay, I can't lie. They are different at what they tell you to do. I mean, an escort mission is different from just causing mayhem. So you get different objectives like escorting someone or assassinate someone on the map or deliver stuff. I mean, bring stuff from there to there. But essentially, Everything you do, no matter what the task is, it kind of feels the same at one point in the game. Then how is the mayhem, you will ask? Well, there are times when the game feels good and times when the game feels like a broken, clumsy mess, especially when shooting guns. The camera is always lacking, making it hard for you to target. Other than this, you get 5 characters to choose from and a map with multiple sections. The map feels very homogeneous and being accompanied by a repetitive gameplay makes up for a bad combination. Okay, I know that I've just said in the review that you get multiple tasks like escort missions or assassinations or causing mayhem for the score or bringing stuff from one place to the other, so the gameplay is varied. And I know that it sounds contradicting, but even if you get so many varied mission objectives, at one point the game felt repetitive. And along with the mixed gameplay, that sometimes feels good and other times feels like a broken mess, the game is hard to judge. I mean, you have fun in it. And the game is good, but it's also bad. So the game is a mixed bag. You can have a lot of fun with it and it's a good game but it has flaws too. It has many moments where it feels clumsy. And State of Emergency 2 is a third person shooter. This time the game has a plot which just exists. It isn't good or bad, it's just there. And in a third person shooter in which the only thing you'll be doing is shoot from a third person perspective, you will think that the shooting is great or at least good. Wrong. The shooting mechanics are horrible. They are clumsy. It's easier to shoot enemies from a distance than those who are close to you because of how bad the shooting mechanics are. The game doesn't even have a cover system. You just point and shoot, which means that most levels are just trial and error. You move around the map and point and shoot and hope not to die. And all you do is shoot with the bad shooting mechanics. You get switched to all 5 characters from the previous game and overall the game is horrible. Ok, maybe I'm too harsh, but the game still is really really bad. All you do is shoot, whether it is that you shoot from a turret, or from a helicopter, or from your gun, all you do is shoot. And the plot doesn't go anywhere, it, it just exists. So that you don't have any reason to play the shooting parts, the shooting parts get very tedious and tiresome, so overall it's a bad game. 